The point-and-click adventure, find-the-him picture-style games that have permeated PC have slowly started to make their way over the console, with the newest one being Clockwork Tales of Glass and Ink. But is this one adventure that's worth taking, or is it one that just ends up running out of steam? Clockwork Tales of Glass and Ink is very typical for the hidden picture, point and click, first person perspective titles. I do like the theme of this one in particular, the whole steampunk theme of like mechanical birds and blimps and the like is pretty cool and lends itself to a little fun adventure game if you can get into these kind of things. The game's title is actually the name of the main characters as you play as the female protagonist of Glass trying to find the Professor Ink who ends up being abducted by a giant robot. The whole story itself, for the most part, is told through these kind of stagnant cutscenes with just like the character model, and they kind of like do a weird zoom feature, like bloat the face up a bit when they're speaking to you. It's a bit weird and a bit jarring, but overall better than some of the other games that I've seen in the same genre. The gameplay is broken up into a few different types, with the main one being inventory style of puzzles, where you find objects and have to take them back to another area, like finding wire colors, and then going to a place with barbed wire and using the wire colors to cut it in order to get another object, and go on, so on, and so forth. There's the main other types of puzzles, and these are a good variety. You have like sliding block ones, ones where you have to put together pictures, you'll have ones where you have to mess with voltage, color schemes, and doing a little bit of math here and there as well. A lot of these are pretty fun and enjoyable if you're into that puzzle style of gameplay. And then there's the hidden objects, where you get a big picture with lots of objects, and you have to find everything on a list down below. And once you do so and solve it, you'll end up getting one of the objects that are in the puzzle itself. The game's puzzles are relatively well done. I wouldn't say there's anything overly difficult, and if there is any problems, you can get some hints, as well as skip certain puzzles altogether if you really wanted to do so. While there is a lot of kind of just clicking around until you find that next object, it is relatively straightforward to get through the game, and it isn't necessarily a very long adventure once you're able to kind of get things going. The game does feature two different difficulties, but all it ends up really affecting is kind of like the timers set in the game to when you're able to use a hint and a few other things that are turned off to make the game a little bit more difficult. But once again, you're still not able to die or get stuck at any point, so it's really just kind of a minor inconvenience for the change in difficulty than anything else. From the technical side of things, the game didn't crash on me and everything ended up working pretty well. Some puzzles took a little bit longer than other ones, but overall I was able to get through the game in just a couple of hours. Clockwork Tales of Glass and Ink is available on the PlayStation 4 for $9.99. It does feature a full trophy list and a Platinum. And in fact, the Platinum is even easier than another game from the same company, Nightmares of the Deep. So if you enjoyed that one or got a very easy plot out of that, you can get an even easier one here with this game. This is the kind of game that's not for everyone, but if you're into these kind of hidden object and puzzle solving style games and you haven't checked this one out on PC, it's worth checking out here. I will say though, for those who aren't really fans of the genre, it doesn't do anything spectacular that's going to make you all of a sudden a huge fan of this type of game. With everything said, I'm going to be giving the game a 6 out of 10. But anyway guys, that's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching and of course I hope you enjoyed.